Greetings and welcome, friends. We are taking a look at Section 2.4, Big Ideas, Algebra 1, Common Core Textbook. And we are learning today solving multi-step, multi-step inequalities. It's like multi-ball in like pinball. It's going to be awesome. Uh, actually, that analogy just doesn't work at all. Uh, nope, doesn't work. But that's fine. Solve each inequality, graph each solution set. Guys, it's been so long since we've been here, but I love it. Here we are back again. When I'm solving a multi-step equation, remember we had to undo in the reverse order, sad map. So I'm not just doing inverse operations, I'm doing them backwards. What? Craziness, right? So uh, over here, oh, there we go. Let's see, I need the brightness on this up. Uh, so let's see, if I want to solve this, I've got y divided by negative 6 plus 7 is less than 9. Two things are happening to y. It's being divided by negative 6 first, and then added by 7 second. So I'm going to do those in the reverse order. I will do the inverse of addition first, okay, uh, by subtracting 7 from both sides. All right. So let's see, y divided by negative 6 uh, is less than 2. Now, wait a minute. Did I have to flip the sign because these 7s were negative? Oh, ho, ho, I almost got you. I know I did, but I didn't. Uh, because we only flip when we multiply or divide by a negative. Okay, so subtracting, we keep this, the inequality in the same direction. Let's see, y is being divided by negative 6, so the inverse operation would be to multiplicado by negative six. If you're gonna write multiply by negative six on the right side of the right hand side, I guess, uh, make sure you throw parentheses there just so it doesn't look like two minus six. That would be weird. Uh, so let's see, following along friends, right? Minus signs cancel out, sixes cancel out. I get y, uh, flip that inequality because I multiplied by a negative is greater than negative 12. All right, so I do two steps. It's just like solving an equation. Uh, except there's an inequality there, and I have to remember when I flip the sign, right? Let's see. I like my my line tool. I love it. Uh, so let's see. If I wanted to graph that, uh, let's see. We'd have uh, 0 and negative 12 would be to the left of that. That's a 2. And over here, I'll start my, my nombre line there. Uh, so to graph this, negative uh, 12 is my point of interest. Y is greater than it, but not equal to it. Oh, I always do that, guys. All right, here we go. Open circle and shade it to the right. <laughs> right. Towards the positives, because the numbers that are greater than that would be bigger than them. And the bigger numbers are to the right. So there we go. All right, let's take a look at this one, friends. Uh, same idea. Solving skills coming back. You guys are going to be master equation solvers. I love it. So let's see. V is being multiplied by 2, subtracted by 4, inverse operations. Let's deal with subtraction first. Add 4, both sides. I got 2V is greater than or equal to 12. I'm going to start cruising through these because you guys are experts. 2 times V, so I divide by 2. Inverse operation multiplication is division. And I'll get V. Do I have to flip it? No, because that was positive. So V is greater than or equal to siete. Uh, let's look at graphing it. So I will have a zero and like six or something like that. And I will have a closed circle at six because it includes the equal greater than is to the right. Because the bigger numbers are to the right. All right, good stuff. So you guys tracking this. We're good. We're good. I'm going to jump right into example two. Sometimes I do additional little half examples in there, but no, not today, friends. It is not this day. Aragorn is going to be solving all of these inequalities. It is not this day. So uh, here we go. What? It's been so long since we've had variables on both sides of an equation. How do I deal with this? Don't you fret. 6x minus 5 is less than 2x plus 11z. Uh, I got to bring my, my variables together. Don't start moving the 5 or the 11. Bring 
your variables together. Now, I can't combine them as regular like terms because they're on opposite sides of the inequality, but I'm going to move the little guy to the big guy, move the little guy to the big guy, subtract 2x both sides, write that underneath our like terms. You guys writing this down, right? You're getting the benefit of the learning. This is going to be good. 4x minus 5 is less than. These two x's canceled out. 11. I don't flip the inequality. You can move things. You can add or subtract. You don't flip the inequality. Uh, and now it's just a classic two-stepper. Let's uh, inverse operation. Should I divide everybody by four? No, that looks terrible. I don't want those fractions. We deal with subtraction before multiplication. So I'm going to add five, both sides. Ooh, this one's even going to come out nice. Non-fractional. Four uh, x's less than 16. Div four, div four. Guys, we are going to be experts. I, I can't wait. Uh, X is greater than quattro. There you go. Done. Done. That's how good we are. Yeah. All right. Example three. Guys, these are picking it up a notch. I think you've noticed. Have you noticed? You've noticed. All right. Here we go. Scroll bar. Example three. Uh, there's actually like two examples here. Solve. Uh, so this is the one I'm solving first. 8b minus 3 is greater than 4 parentheses 2b plus 3. So uh, first thing I should do is simplify, which means distributing in this case. Right, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll have 8b minus 3 is greater than 4 times 2b is 8 B. Huh. That's weird. That's weird. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12. Why am I saying that's weird? Because when I do my next step to move the little guy to the big guy, what's happening here? Yeah, they're the same. So when I try to move one to the other, both of them die. Oh, man. I eliminated both of them. And now there are no more bees left in this ecosystem. No, not not just the ecosystem, but the entire planet. It's now devoid of life. It's just got these numbers, these variables that were changing, and now these just cold, hard numbers. Now, question, uh, is this a true or false statement? Is negative 3 greater than 12? It's false. So what do you guys think? I would say regarding the values of B that make this inequality true. I'm gonna say there's no solution. I don't think there's any number B that would make that inequality true. Just never gonna happen. So uh, if your variables disappear, uh, it's possible, notice, to have uh, no solution. No solution. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, part B. Uh, I've got some simplifying to do. Same idea, distributing. You can distribute multiplication over subtraction or addition. 2 times 5W, 10W. And 10W, 30. I think I'm going to get an oil change. It's been a while. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2, less than or equal to 7 plus 10 dubs. Mm-hmm. Dub, dub. And... Let's see, let's bring the, the dubs together. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Guys, it's happening all over. It's not, not again. Oh no, I just extincted the Ws. Oh man, guys. Uh, however, notice this. Negative two is less than or equal to seven. That's a true statement. Uh, so it turns out in this particular case, all real numbers are solutions. All right, all real numbers, you could say it that way. Uh, less specifically, you could say uh, infinitely many solutions. Uh, right, so whatever I would have plugged in for W would have worked. Everything, every all real numbers anyway. Uh, yeah. 
that's to exclude the possibility of the non-real numbers. Hmm. Let me do one more. This one. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I like this one right here. Let me do just one one more example before I get to a word problem. Oh, I just made that like jumbo pixelated. That's okay. There we go. So three parentheses, 2a minus 1 is greater than or equal to 10a minus 11. Guys, what do you think? You tell me what to do. What do you think? What's my first move? I selected purple. That probably means, yeah, distribute. Okay, so let's see. We'll do this as a team. So three times 2a is 6a. Three times negative 1. Still going to be negative. Negative 3. Okay, greater than or equal to 10a. Minus 11. All right, okay. Uh, let's, uh, you guys think here. I got a minus 6a. Okay, I like that. I move, yeah, move the little guy to the big guy. Minus 6a from both sides. All right, so these a's cancel out. I'd have negative 3 is greater than or equal to. Oh, oh. The signs are different. Signs are different. So 10 minus 6, keep the sign of the more influential. Uh, minus 11. Okay, what's my next move, do you guys think? Yeah, add 11 to both sides underneath the constants. I like it. Okay, here's another one. Signs are different. So 11 minus 3 is 8. Uh, and take the sign of the positive because it was more influential. Greater than or equal to 4a. Uh, here we go. Next move. Yeah, divide both sides by 4. And so 8 divided by 4 is 2, is greater than or equal to A. And let's flip it, last move. A is less than or equal to 2. Uh, there we go. All right. All right, so all of our old solving steps are coming back. The only thing you got to look out for is the possibility of multiplying or dividing by a negative that you might have to flip that inequality. Let's see, is this my last example? It is my last example, but this one's actually really, I like this one. Uh, this one's not just gonna be related to inequalities, but also uh, another concept of um, averages, mean. Yes, let's see, here we go, yeah. Okay, <sighs> modeling with matematicas, all right. It says you need a mean, okay, uh, what, what does mean mean? Anyone know? It's a, often mean is used to describe the word average. Average is actually uh, one of three things, uh, the mean, median, or mode, which are measures of central tendency. It's like a, a number that describes roughly the middle number of a set of numbers. And in this case, the mean uh, is where you add up all the numbers and divide by how many there are. That's the most common type of average. So let's see, you need a mean score of at least 90 points to advance to the next round of the touchscreen trivia game. That's my favorite game. It's like the most popular game on the iOS store and on the Android, the Google Play. Mm, man, have you played touchscreen trivia? That's such a generic fake name. Let's see, what scores in the fifth game will allow you to advance? Okay, so now the question is often going to be the thing that is my variable, okay? So this this one's got like our writing uh, equations, interpreting word problems piece. It's got this new idea of mean that we haven't, I haven't talked about it with you guys yet in this class. And it's got inequalities because it had at least showing up. Let's see, so my variable will be, uh, I'll, I'll call it X because I'm not that interesting. Uh, it is the score in the fifth game, the, the, fifth, the fifth score. Okay, whatever my fifth score will be, uh, and it's measured in points uh, here, but that, that doesn't matter. I don't think I need to specify that. Let's uh, write our inequality here now. Okay. So, how would I find the average of these numbers and x? 
How would I find the mean of those things? Does anyone know? Well, I said that the mean, to find it, you add them all up and divide by how many of them there were. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to write x plus 95 plus 91 plus 77 plus 89. So I add them all up and then divide that total, so macro fraction bar here, by how many there were. How many how many games did we play? There was four here, and then the fifth game, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So I divide by five. This number will represent my average across those five games. Now, what did they tell me about my average? It needs to be at least 90. So this number, this average, is got to be greater than or equal? Yeah, I think so. I think equal, right? Because at least would include 90. All right. So setting up this inequality was quite tricky. Let's uh, let's solve it. Uh, the first thing I would do is actually combine some like terms. I've got plus 95, plus 91, plus 77, plus 89. Uh, you could reach for a calculator for that, I suppose. Uh, that's 352. I did not just do that in my head. I just happened to have the... Uh, plus 5 is greater than or equal to 90. Uh, what do you guys think my next move is? Am I going to subtract 352 from both sides? What can I do? Now remember, according to PEMDAS, this is in a grouping symbol. So I actually have to deal with that division first. How do I deal with dividing by 5? What's the inverse operation? Yeah, multiply both sides by five, okay? Uh, and notice that does actually help me. Ching, ching, that would cancel out. I'll have x plus 352 greater than or equal. I didn't flip the sign because five is positive. Nine times five is 45 plus a zero, 450. 450. And now I can subtract 352 from both sides. And I will get x is greater than or equal. I got 98. So uh, the answer, my friend, is you must score at least 98 on the last test, the last game. Okay, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I mean, right, the idea of the average, add them all up, divide by how many there were. I want my average to be bigger than 90. And we solved, and then so X represented the whole time the fifth score, so therefore the fifth score got to be greater than or equal to 98. All right, uh, how, how likely do you think this person is going to get that 98? I, I'm looking at their scores. I'm kind of, I'm not guessing this person's going to make it. You know, I mean, ugh. their highest score is a 95. And uh, yeah, second highest, 89. They've had some low ones in there too. I don't know. I, I think the odds are against them. But who knows? Maybe they're the, the random questions they'll get on the touchscreen trivia game uh, will happen to be ones that they're familiar with. Wow. Well, anyways, what an adventure, friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Uh,